Have you seen that you're not actually particularly scared of being awake, but rather what really scares you is how that will make you feel tomorrow. You're really scared of being exhausted and drained and fatigued and unable to function. Well, if that sounds familiar, then this is exactly what we're gonna talk about in today's uh, recap here. We're gonna talk about the fear fatigue loop and learn how to leave that cycle. But before we do, of course, it is Friday, which means that it is time for our weekly roundup. Let's go. Monday, we had Insomnia Insight number 472. And um, a, a very common question we get, uh, we, by we, I mean, as sleep coaches is, why am I not sleeping like before? In the context of like, I have a lot of clarity, the intense struggle is gone, but I'm just not sleeping like before. Like my, my sleep is kind of more, more superficial, a little choppy, things like that. And the answer to that is actually shockingly simple. It is, we are not sleeping like before in this scenario because we were not comparing our sleep to before, before, but we are now. And that comparison leads to some preoccupation and self-monitoring, et cetera. More on this in, in some insight number 472. Tuesday, we had heard online number 18, in which we came across perhaps the most incredulous claims I've ever heard. You know, uh, someone makes a claim that, you know, 70% of all cardiovascular disease potentially could be prevented if we just slept more. Uh, it is a very, very triggering uh, abstract that we, that we take a close and critical look at. Uh, in Heard Online number 18, which by the way, a lot of people uh, have told me that it's actually their favorite uh, series. And uh, yes, uh, we are gonna make it into a playlist, of course, uh, like Sherry suggested. Thanks for the suggestion, Sherry. Wednesday, we had Insomnia Recovery QA with uh, Coach Alina. Um, I'm thinking of actually renaming this Insomnia Recovery QA because that tells us what it is about, as opposed to what we usually call it, Insomnia Open Class. But anyway, it was still called Insomnia Open Class number 164. Uh, where Alina talked about what I call looking under the hood, uh, which is like, you know, when we're truly willing to kind of even talk about, discuss, share, like what we have seen inside us. A lot of people ask Coach Alina uh, how she can, you know, talk about her insomnia, like without it affecting her. And she, she, she's, she actually saw that being willing to talk about it was kind of the final stage of her recovery. So uh, she talks about that. And we, of course, answer a bunch of questions from the NATO nation, from our community in that episode. So uh, always a lot of value there. Yesterday, we had talking insomnia number 111. Jonathan, a member of our community, uh, joined and shared his journey. And uh, he had uh, more than one reason that he wanted to join. I mean, he wanted to help, of course, but specifically he wanted to share his story of like having these like stretches of like zero sleep because he, are, he said i heard a lot of stories about people who slept like two hours three hours but i had zero sleep and that's that's been a common question like people have actually requested that can you talk about the, this kind of zero sleep experience and uh if, if this sounds like it could be valuable for you to hear how he went from zero sleep to peaceful nights leaving the struggle behind check out yesterday's uh talking on summer episode all right so with that said let us let us uh, take a look at a comment that came in a few days ago from uh, from Amelia. Sure, and this is a comment to um, the Insomnia Insight episode from, from Monday. She said, hi, Daniel. I really have hope now when I watch these videos, but at the same time, I am afraid. What if even this doesn't help me? I've tried so many things in five years, and I've tried to make new thinking models, but the fear is still there, and all the time I think about my sleep. I now listen to your videos about three weeks, and I'm waiting for your book. I have now realized that my problem is just fear. But today I realized that my fear is mostly the fear of tiredness. Of course, I fear awakeness, but I hate to be tired. At the same time, I was thinking, this is like living with some pain. Should I train my brain to accept the pain, live with it? If I started to live with my life with pain and accepting it, maybe I could live a better life. I just fear so much that I can't do that, that I'm judged to be anxious and fearful. How long does it take? for my brain to learn, Emilia says. So uh, firstly, like Emilia, thanks for sharing this. And, and this you know, became the inspiration for today's topic, which I hope will be helpful to you and, and uh, many other people who tune in. And there's more than one question here from Emilia, but 
what I really wanted to focus on was this fear fatigue loop. So um, it is actually very common uh, uh, for clients, followers to tell me that just like Emila, they have seen like my biggest fear is actually not not sleeping. It's actually not being awake at night, but rather it is how I feel the next day, how I'm going to feel the next day. I'm scared of the fatigue, the exhaustion, the tiredness. And now what can we learn about this that can really make a difference? Well, let's, let's think about it this way. When fear keeps our brain in turbo mode all day, we become what? Think about it for a second. When we're scared, our brain is in this like problem solving mode, survival mode. It is using a lot of calorie, a lot of energy to try to figure out what's going on, to try to like keep us safe. It is super vigilant, super alert. So when it's been in this turbo mode for a while, it is natural that we do become tired. So when fear keeps us in this turbo mode, we become tired. Now, if what's happened with Amelia has happened in your case or in general, when tiredness has become something our brain thinks of as a threat, then of course fatigue makes us scared. And now when you see this, you see the entire loop. You see that fear makes us tired and fatigue makes us scared. Fear leads to fatigue and fatigue leads to fear, which then leads to fatigue, which then leads to fear. And you see this now can become its own self-sustaining loop where, where the fact that we're awake at night is actually just a product of the fear. And the fear isn't actually primarily directed at the wakefulness. It's, it's directed towards the fatigue. But seeing this so clearly, you know, can, can really make you realize, okay, this is it. Like, this is what's going on. Like, I'm just so scared that I become tired. And then I become, then I become uh, uh, even more scared because I'm tired. And then I become, you know, even in the, et cetera, et cetera. Like, we can really see the loop here. Now, the question becomes like, so, so how do I stop this? Like, our natural reaction is like, I got to, you know, reach for the sledgehammer and like, you know, whack this cycle and get out of it. Like, you know, I have to stop this. But in reality, you know, when we try to approach this from kind of a, 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 a a sort of like violent with a violent approach there will just be more struggle remember what we want is peace of mind and peaceful sleep and and you know if we want peace our means must be peaceful we cannot have peace when our means are violent so in in other words what really really helps is just seeing uh, the, the understanding the struggle understanding why we are so scared and so tired because it's its own re reinforcing loop and then understanding that there is actually nothing there. Like the, it, it's, it's like an illusion. It's an illusion. We, we're, we're fighting like an invisible nothing. We're fighting the fear. We're fighting the fatigue. But the, the one just leads to the other. There's actually no danger. We're in absolutely no danger whatsoever. So when we deploy this insight or awareness, we understand. And we deploy kindness. Like when we are tired, we're like not blaming ourselves for it. When we are scared, we're, we're kind to ourselves. Then we arrive where we want to be, which is at a place of peace, which I wish for you, of course. I'm rooting for you, and I hope this was really helpful. And if you're finding that you are seeing peace coming to you, things are getting easier and easier, that is wonderful. Uh, but if it is hard, if, if it feels like you're alone, you're not really seeing things come together, you're not moving in the direction that you want to be, well then, please uh, head over to our website. Check out our coaching options. If you decide to join us, then we are really looking forward to seeing you on the other side. With that said, I wish you a wonderful weekend and hope to have you back next week. Until then, stay out of trouble.